hello friends so in this lecture i will be talking about how can we generate or plot shear force and bending moment diagrams for a beam when it is loaded uh, with any kind of force let's say so i will be taking example of this kind of beam which is simply supported and loaded with two point load let's say p1 and p2 uh, here it is p, p but consider we will use as p1 p2 so how it will look at the end so we will generate this kind of uh, shear force diagram bending moment diagram it looks very nice and we will see in program uh, how to use conditional statements in your program just like if then how can we use empty matrices or empty arrays to store our calculated value and finally how can we plot such a hatched diagrams or plots so we will start with our program first i will need certain uh, inputs let's say I, I have created new file so you can create new file i have copied this diagram on this page also so first i will zoom little bit i need to import some libraries let's say numpy i will need numpy import numpy as np so short form i will use np for numpy then import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt i will use short form of plt for uh, matplotlib library so then uh, i will need some inputs so i will add let's say here comment inputs so i will need certain inputs so i will need uh, these load values let's say p1 and p2 and length of the total beam and these distances a and b so a is the distance of this load p left hand side load p from left end and b is the distance of load p2 from right hand side so let's say uh, p1 or you can call as f1 whatever you want let's say p1 i will take 30 load p2 let's say 50 and distance a let's say 3 distance b let's say 2 mm or let's say 4 mm and total length l we will take as a 10 make sure it should be greater than this a plus b some value so 3 plus 4 is 7 so i am taking greater than 7 now i have taken the inputs then i will need uh, this r1 and r2 so reactions i have to calculate reactions first so we will use momentum formulas so r1 is a reaction at left end r2 reaction at uh, right end so i will show here how we will calculate reactions so if we take the moment at this end right end so moment balance will be let's say r1 into l is equal to this p2 into b and plus p1 into l minus a p1 is a list, this, this distance up to this so up to this distance from this end will be total length minus this distance l1 minus a and similarly r2 into l will be equal to p1 into a plus p2 into l minus b and if you take l on this side it will go into denominator side so we will write the formula for this now reaction one will be here first give a bracket so let me see the formula p2 into b right so p2 into b so sorry capital b should be there because we have used capital b here capital p p2 into b plus or keep some place in bracket second term that is a p1 into l capital l minus a and i will put whole term in one bracket so use brackets carefully divided by l and r2 will be equal to 
don't write r r2 is equal to total load minus r1 because uh, sometimes if our r1 is calculated wrongly r2 will be wrong so use such a formula directly moment equations so r2 will be let's see here our formula p1a p1 into a plus in bracket let's say p2 into l minus b and whole divided by total length so capital so let's see what is r1 let's say r1 i will type here r1 it should give me some value of r1 and what is r2 so it is a 39 so r1 was 41 r2 was 39 so total is a 80 and what is the total value of load that is 50 plus 30 80 so we have achieved force balance so that's why i am not using uh, r2 is equal to p1 plus p2 minus r1 so this formula should be used so let's say if i change the so it is r1 then r2 then let's say r1 so i will use whatever values i used in my previous program that values i will use let's say 3 and 5 no problem just check different 36 46 r2 34 okay so total sum is is maintained now what we'll do here we will be calculating shear force or bending moment at different points along the length of the beam and that's why i am using x to represent any distance along the beam so let's say x is at a point what will be the shear force value at this point let's say if x is in this section what will be the value of shear force and let's say x is in this section what will be the value of shear force so basically here there are three sections one section is from left end to this point where the load is applied second section between these two forces and third section is uh, <clears throat> this left hand right hand side extreme end of the beam so first i will divide total length of the beam into several number of points so i will use a one small l variable called and i will use np dot lean space this function so l will be varying from 0 to capital l that is a total length 10 and i will take let's say 100 points and let's say if what is the l so it will give me the these many points so 100 points so last value is 10 starting value is 0 and in between these two values instead of let's use 101 now it will give me proper values 0 1 0 0.1 0 0.2 so proper point values so let's see and next we need to do our actual calculation so my first section so let me take it here somewhere in my first section let's say this distance x is less than a up to this so in that section shear force will be equal to r1 so first right so i will use for loop for i will assume one variable called x to represent the length x in l small l so i will be taking values for x from this l array so x will take these values whatever the values we have printed here so x will take these values and you have to put semicolon and next line and my first condition is when x is falling in this section that is x is less than a so write a first condition if i will use bracket so that x is less than let's say a put a semicolon for loops you have to use semicolons whatever like for loop if loop while loop 
so when x is less than a my shear force is equal to r1 so i am creating one variable small sf to represent the shear force and its value will be equal to r1 when it is when x has less than equal less than a and if x is greater than a so let's say x is going into this section from this a to this distance so what is the total distance here from for this point it is a and up to this point it is l minus b so this distance total this distance let me draw so up to this let's say up to this point total distance will be l minus b so we need to subtract this point so what will be the condition in this section a is less than x and x is less than l minus b so this is my second condition for this to write the second condition you have to use l if in l if a is less than x less than capital l minus b so remember when i am using capital l and when i am using small l so i don't need to use small l here l should address single value so that is a 10 so remember that don't make mistake here and in this section my shear force will be equal to r1 minus p1 so shear force will be reducing and my third condition l if in this third section what is the x so x will be between l minus b in this section up to from this part point x would be l minus b and less than l so x values will be in between this uh, part so here l minus sorry capital l minus b is less than x and which is less than l and put semicolon and sf is equal to r2 so i have written my conditions so first we'll complete with uh, shear force and then we'll go to the bending moment so whatever